usually known as Knowledge Center Soviet Socialist Republic. And today I will be discussing differences between communism, Marxism, socialism, and a whole bunch of other things. Now the important thing to understand about... No, I can't do this the whole time. Now the important thing to understand about communism, socialism, and all the other things is that they're like an onion. A Soviet onion. There are different layers to communism, socialism, and a whole bunch more. Now, they all fall under the umbrella term of socialism. What is socialism? Socialism just means that the means of production, kind of means, the means, or in other words, the means of production, the means by which things are built, factories, shops, and machines, are controlled by the government. In other words, you own nothing. Everything is owned by Lenin Cat. But the thing that socialists disagree on is how every is how we're gonna get to a socialist state where Lenin Cat owns everything. Some, called the communists, think we must rise up and kill the bourgeoisie and form the socialist state through an upright through a communist uprising. Everybody else says, no, that's a bad idea. Now, communism, of course, is what we're talking about today because this is Marx. And so I will talk about Karl Marx, who had a luxurious beard. Karl Marx is best known, of course, for his best-selling book, The Communist, the Co the Communist Can of Pesto, Manifesto, in which he basically, is, in which he establishes what's called labor economics. In labor economics, the most important thing in the world is your manpower, your ability to labor. And when you take a pile of wood and turn that into a chair and increase its value, you've just put your labor power into increasing the value of that chair. But when, if you work at a factory where you're making chairs, you're not, getting the full cut of each chair you make, most likely. You're just get, you're getting part of it. And the rest of that, and the rest of that is going to the executive and the investors. And this, in Marx's wa, in, in this, Marx says in the Communist Can of Pesto Manifesto, is why it is, in fair, is why capitalism is an inherently unfair system. Now, this seems like obviously pretty standard stuff, but the thing that I disagree with on Marx is, that Marx said, eh, this will happen in its own time. People will naturally drift towards socialism. We, we're, we're not going to force it to happen. Boy, was he wrong. And this is what a pretty smart Russian guy named Vladimir Lenin, you might recognize that name, figured out in, figured out in 1918. Creating the Soviet Onion Union and allowing me to make all these terrible jokes. He said, hey, this is not working. It's not just happening. We have to make it happen. You communism and stuff. And so he did make it happen and he made the Soviet onion, Union. Now, of course, everybody hates his, his, his successor, Joseph Stalin, but Stalin wasn't his real name, it actually means Man of Steel, but that's a whole other pedantic train of thought. Stalin was, Stalin is the father of Stalinism, which is a, bar, a variation of Leninism, which was Lenin's variation of Marxism. And Stalinism basically says, all right, cool and all, but how do we enforce socialism? And Stalin's solution, as everybody knows, was to terrify everybody with secret police and force them to starve. So they don't revolt. Hi everybody, thanks for listening to my pedantic rambling about communism. I made this video partially because I need to do a history project and partially because there's a severe lack of knowledge about communism, socialism, Marxism, etc. And you might he you hear about Bernie Sanders and his socialism in the news a lot. He's not socialist because he's not advocating that we take over the means of production. What he's advocating is called democratic socialism, and it has its historical roots in socialism and Marx, but practically it's capitalism. What it basically means is that the government controls part of the means of production.
Thanks for, again for listening to my pedantic ramblings. Subscribe, uh, subscribe, like the video, and comment down below. If you're on YouTube and if you're on Facebook, like the video, like the page, and comment down below on how bad you thought my rambling was.